Coast Guard Festival is in full swing on the lakeshore and Grand Haven is preparing for one of their most famous events. Yep, 13 on your side's meteorologist Blake Hansen. He's live this morning in Grand Haven with all you need to know if you're heading to watch the ships come in. Blake? Yeah, good morning, guys. A really cool day here in Grand Haven. Coast Guard Festival still in full swing, and today actually marks the parade of ships that will be roughly uh, starting at 1 this afternoon. Now, for those that are not familiar with the parade of ships, this includes four of the uh, Coast Guard cutters, include the, including the Hollyhock, the Spar, uh, the uh, Knee Bay, and also the Biscayne Bay. And actually, for the uh, Spar, this is the first uh, time the Spar will be coming to Grand Haven. So this is a really, really cool event. Uh, they will be sailing into the port of Grand Haven roughly at 1 this afternoon. Best uh, area to view that is actually at Escanaba Park. And starting today, later on this evening from roughly 6 to 8, you can tour these cutters. So again, you can watch them earlier this afternoon as the parade of ships kicks off, and you can actually tour the uh, cutters later on this evening. Now, weather-wise, as Sam mentioned, we have a little bit of rain this morning, maybe a rumble of thunder, but by afternoon, and especially by 1, when the parade of ships uh, kicks off, uh, it should be dry here in Grand Haven. It'll just remain a little bit on the breezy side and still remaining somewhat humid. Nothing unusual for this 1st of August. Now, while most of the events here in Grand Haven are free, some events do require you to purchase tickets beforehand, such as uh, one of the concerts that's going to be uh, happening here today, some 50s and 60s music from uh, Rock and Hop. So uh, Meredith and Emily, uh, it's going to be a fun uh, time here in Grand Haven today as Coast Guard Festival continues. It's going to be a good day to watch those ships come in. Yeah, Blake, sounds like a great day and so glad to hear that those showers won't won't stop people from getting out to the lakeshore. Mm -hmm. Good news. Thanks for that, Blake.